Hi everyone, welcome to today's online STEM session. My name is Rohan and today we'll be learning about plate boundaries using a model made from graham crackers and whipped cream. In the last video we talked about how convection currents of the asthenosphere interact with the plates of the lithosphere. Now we'll learn how the different plates interact. The graham crackers will represent the plates of the lithosphere and the red whipped cream will represent the asthenosphere. There are two main types of crust that lay on top of plates, oceanic and continental. Oceanic plates are under the ocean, and continental plates are what make up the continents. Continental plates are thicker and less dense than oceanic plates. To represent the crust, I'll add layers of graham crackers. The more graham crackers, the thicker and less dense the crust. So if I had three graham crackers here, and I had five graham crackers here, this crust would be thicker and less dense than this crust. There are three interactions that can happen between two plates. The first one is called a divergent plate boundary. This is when two plates move away from each other. When this action occurs, magma rises up and when it cools it forms new crust. The area between two plates in a divergent plate boundary is called a rift valley. These can form underwater between oceanic plates, which is called seafloor spreading. Because the plates at the seafloor are moving away from each other, they form new crust and they increase the size of the seafloor. This can create volca volcanic islands. An example of an oceanic divergent plate boundary is the Mid-Atlantic Ridge. Divergent plate boundaries can also form between continental plates. An example of this is the East African Great Rift Valley, where new crust is formed and a rift is created. The next type of interaction is called a convergent plate boundary. It happens when two plates get pushed together. There are two different things that can happen in this instance. One thing that can happen is that the thinner plate gets pushed underneath the thicker plates and gets melted into the asthenosphere. This is called a subduction zone and it occurs between two oceanic plates or one oceanic plate and one continental plate. Subduction zones occur all around the edge of the Pacific Ocean, offshore Washington, Canada, Alaska, Russia, Japan, and Indonesia. These subduction zones together are called the Ring of Fire. They're responsible for some of the world's largest earthquakes, biggest tsunamis, and worst volcanic eruptions. The other thing that can happen is the two plates smash together and they get pushed upwards and form a mountain. A good example of a continental convergent boundary is the collision of the Indian plate and the Eurasian plate, which creates the Himalayan mountains. The last type of interaction between plates is called the transform plate boundary. This is where two plates slide past one another. Sometimes these plates get stuck against each other, and over time, lots of energy builds up between them. When the plates finally move apart, all the energy releases and this is what causes earthquakes to form. An example of a transform plate boundary is a San Andreas Fault in California. Thank you for watching, and I hope you enjoyed.